okay welcome again student now we'll discuss with the part 2 of the chapter 14 on statistics here we'll have with the problem number 5 the mean of the following frequencies distribution is 24 find the value of p as given that the marks are 0 to 10 the number of students who obtain are 15 from 10 to 20 the number of students obtain is 20 20 to 30 is 35, 30 to 40 is P, and 40 to 50 it is 10. Now, in between 30 to 40, the number of students obtain the marks is P. That means is uh, unknown quantity. We have to find out this number of students which got the mark in between 30 to 4 okay now what is given here the mean is given to be 24 okay we have to find out the, the students who obtain the mark between 30 to 40 solution for this we prepare the uh, given information in the form of table as below the marks uh, as it is this uh, first column and second column will um, prepare the table as what is given in the question 0 to 10, 15, 20, 10 to 20 is 20, 20 to 30, 35, 30 to 40 is P, and 40 to 50 it is 10. Now, class mark, what is class mark? It is the mid value of a class interval. 0 to 10, what is the mid value? It is 5. 10 to 20, mid value is 15. The next class interval is 25, 35, and 40. Fine. Now the product of xi and fi. What is xi? Is the class mark. Fi is the number of student. Five multiply twenty. Um, five multiply with fifteen, seventy-five. Fifteen multiply with twenty, three hundred. Twenty-five multiply thirty-five, eight hundred seventy-five. Thirty-five multiply with p is thirty-five p. Ten multiply with forty-five is four five zero. Now this the summation of fi sum of 10 plus 20 plus 35 plus 10 it is 80 you cannot add p therefore you will write separately summation of fi is 80 plus p and the same thing with summation of xi fi it is uh, the sum of all these number 75 308 75 and 450 is 1700 and this 35 you write separately as 35 P okay now using the uh, formula for finding out the means the mean is given by summation of XI FI divided by summation of FI now uh, X bar will be equal to summation of XI FI is 1700 plus 35 P divided by 80 plus P now since the mean is given to be 24 is already given this means 17 plus 1700 plus 35 P by 80 plus P should be equal to 24 which is the mean now you do the cross multiplication 1700 plus 35 P is called 24 multiply with 80 plus P now uh, the left is remaining the same now 24 multiply 80 is 1920 24 multiply p is 24p now see here you have 35p 24p these are the similar term 1700 and 1920 they are similar term then what you'll do in this step you bring this 24 to the left side and take this 1700 to the right side now if you bring 24 to the left it will be minus 24p and this 1700 you take to the right side it will be minus 1700 now 35 minus 24 is 11, 11p, and subtract this 2, you will get 220, which give us p equal 220 divided by 11, or p is 20, hence the value of p is 20, this means the number of students who obtain the mark between 30 to 40 should be 20, it's clear? Now, to the next. The next number is and number six if the mean of the following frequency distribution is 54 
find will be the same thing as the question number five you try to do it by yourself if you are not able to do it then you follow uh, the video uh, as solution has been solved for you okay in the first column and the second column you write as it is given in the question 0 to 20, 20 to 40, 40 to 60, 60 to 80, and 80 to 100. And the frequency given to 7, P, 10, 9, and 13. The class mark is the midpoint, the mid value of class interval 0 to 20, the mid value is 10, 20 to 40, the mid value is 30, and so on. The next class interval is 50, 70, and 90. Now the product product of xi with fi 10 multiply 7 70 30 multiply p you'll get 30p 50 with 10 500 70 with 9 630 90 multiply 13 is 1170 now summation of this you add only the number 7 plus 10 plus 9 plus 13 is 39 and p you write separate because you cannot add a number with a variable okay now the same thing with the product also summation of x i f i should be the sum of all these number which is 2 3 7 0 and 30, 30 p you write separately plus 30 p now we have uh, this uh, formula that the mean is given by summation of x i f i by summation of f i now uh, summation of x i f i is 2 3 7 0 plus 30 p divide by 39 plus p now since mean is given to be 54 therefore this value 2370 plus 30 p by 39 plus p should be equal to how much should be equal to the mean which is 54 the next step is to do the cross multiplication 2370 plus 30 p should be equal 54 multiply with 39 plus p the left side is the same and the right side 54 multiply 39 is 2106 54 multiply p is 54 p now the same thing here also uh, which is greater see 30 p and 54 p which is greater 30, 30 or 54 it is 54 therefore what you will do you will take this 30 p to the right side and this 2106 to the left side that means to the right side you will have how much 54p minus 30p should be equal to 2370 minus 2106 okay now you write it in the opposite way is 54p minus 30p equal to 2370 minus 2106 now subtracting this to 54 minus 30 you will get 24p is equal 264 give us p equal to 64 divided by 24 or p is 11 hence the value of frequency it is we have got to be 11 okay uh, now we'll move to the next question on the question number seven in the following distribution, the daily pocket allowance of children of locality, the mean pocket allowance is 18, find the missing frequency. It is the same thing as the number 5, number 6 also, it is the same thing. But instead of P, they are giving F. You will proceed the same thing. Now, without watching this video, you try to do it by yourself. If you are not able to arrive at the solution or getting the answer for this then you watch this video so that you will be able to see how we are doing in solving this problem number seven now as I have every time told you that the first column and the second column of the table that we are preparing should be as per the data given in the question 11 to 13 13 to 15 15 to 17 up to the last class interval 23 to 25 and the frequency should be 
as per the table given 7, 6, 9, 13, and so on. Okay, now the class mark. Class mark is the mid value of a class interval 11 and 13. What is in between these two? It is 12. 11, 12, 13. It is 12. 13, 15, 14. Or you can do like this if you are not sure what will be the class mark of this class interval you just add 11 plus 13 you'll get 24 24 divided by 2 it is 12 okay you can either do in that way you can add the lower limit plus upper limit and then divide by 2 or you can just look at this class interval and figure out what will be the mid value okay now you find out the class mark for each class interval and then you find out the product of xi with fi 12 with 7 84 14 with 6 84 16 with 9 144 and so on and here if f multiply 20 you uh, it is 20 f okay and the for summing the frequency also you sum only for those uh, numbers whereas f you write it separately 44 sum of number is 44 plus this f same thing with the product also summation of x i f i you find the sum of all these number 84 84 104 234 and 110 9 and the last 96 you give us 752 plus 20f you write it separately now we have this formula mean is given by summation of xi fi by summation of fi or mean is equal to 752 plus 20f by 44 plus f since mean is given to be 18 therefore this 752 plus 20f by 44 plus f should be equal to 18 and you do the cross multiplication 18 multiply 44 plus f 18 multiply 44 is 792 18 multiply f is 18 f and here uh, you take this 18 f to the left 752 to the right you take this to the left is minus 18 f 752 take to the right is minus 752 on subtracting you will get 2 f is equal 40 f is called 40 by 2 or f is called 20 hence the value of f is 20 okay now this number 8 is little bit different from the last three number 5 6 and 7 here is a little bit different because why the frequency is given and there there are two frequencies which we have to find out okay the problem here the mean of the following frequency distribution is 57.6 this is the mean and the sum of observation is given to be 50 sum of all observation this mean is the sum of frequency what is sum of observation is also the sum of frequency is given to be 50 and here you have to find out the missing frequencies okay now solution for this same thing you have to prepare the table as below the first two column it should be should be as per the table given 0 to 20 20 to 40 40 to 60 60 to 80 80 to 100 and 100 to 120 frequency 7 f1 12 f2 8 and Five. class mark is the mid value of the class interval 0 to 20 the class mark is 10 20 to 40 class mark is 30 40 to 60 it is 50 and so on till the last class interval now the product should be 10 multiply 7 70 30 multiply f1 30 f1 50 multiply 12 600 f2 multiply 70 70 f2 8 multiply 90 720 
5 multiply 110550. Now the summation of fi should be 7 plus 12, 19, 19 plus 8, 27, 27 plus 5 is 32. And f1 plus f2. Summation of xi should be sum of 70, 600, 720, will give you 1940. 30f1 plus 70f2. Okay. Now it's given that the sum of observation is 50, which means that summation of fi is called 50. That means this sum, this sum of fi, 30 plus 32 plus f1 plus f2 should be equal to 50. Taking 32 to the right side, f1 plus f2 should be 50 minus 32 or f1 plus f2 should be 18 and you mark this as equation number 1. And the mean is given to be 57.6. This is given in equation itself. Summation of xi fi by summation of fi should be equal to 57.6. Now what is xi fi? This is the summation of xi fi. What is summation of fi? Summation of fi is 50. So see the value here. You'll get 90, 1940 plus 30 of 1 plus 70 of 2 divided by fi which is 50 is called the mean which is 57.6. Now you do the cross multiplication 57.6 multiply 5 0. The left side is the same. If you multiply this 2 you'll get 2880. Now here you take this 1940 to the right side you transpose this to the right side 30 of 1 plus 70 of 2 should be 2880 minus by 1940 and on subtracting this 2 you'll get 940 30 of 1 plus 70 of 2 is 940 and you mark this as equation number 2 now you look at this equation 1 and equation 2, these two they are the simultaneous equation in two variable instead of f1 if you write x, f2 is y, 30, 30x plus 70y equal 340, isn't it? What type of equation it is? It is a linear equation in two variable, both equation 1 and equation 2 also. Now how you to solve that one? To solve such type of equation, you will look for the quotient of f1 in in both equation. In the first equation, if you see the first equation is f1 plus f2 equal 18. In the second equation is 30 f1 plus 70 f2 equal 940. Now to equalize the value of f1 what you'll do you multiply the equation 1 by 30 and equation 2 by 1 because coefficient of uh, f1 in equation 2 is 30 and equation 1 the coefficient of f1 is 1 therefore 30 you multiply to equation 1 and 1 you multiply to equation 2 and then subtract uh, if you apply 30 to equation 1, you will get 30 of 1. Mm, this is equation 2, okay. Uh, 30 of 1 plus 70 of 2 equal 940. And you multiply the equation 1 by 30, you will get 30 of 1 plus 30 of 2 equal 18 multiplied by 30, you will get 540. Now, subtract means you have to change sign. This is plus, change to minus, this is plus, change to minus, and this is also plus, you change to minus. F1, F1, you got cancelled because 1 is plus, 1 minus, these two got cancelled. 70, F2, and minus 30, F2. Adding these two, 70 minus 30, you will get 40, F2. It's clear? Now 70, see here, 70 is plus, 
30 is minus 70 minus 30 you will get how much 40 this sign is greater plus minus it is plus therefore you have 40 f2 equal 940 minus by 540 you will get 400 which implies that f2 will be 400 by 40 or f2 will be 10 now if f2 is 10 what should the value of f1 how you will get the value of f1 you will put this value of f2 in equation number 1 putting the value of f2 in equation 1 now equation 1 what it is f1 plus f2 is 18 f1 plus f2 f2 is how much 10 is called 18 f1 it will be equal to take this 10 to the right side will change to minus 10 f1 will be 18 minus 10 which is 8 hence the value of f1 is 8 and the value of f2 is 10 now uh, number 9 is the same as this one you will try to do it by itself okay for the time being we will stop here and we will conclude again on the next class